The Thomas fire narrowly missed homes in Montecito overnight, and it keeps heading northwest. More than 237,000 acres have burned, and it's only 25% contained. KCAL 9's Jasmine Veal reports from Bella Vista Drive in Montecito. The good news right now, the winds are not gusty, but look at this. All around these homes, you still have hot spots that firefighters are trying to put out, and they are very close to some of these large homes. And overnight, the fire came dangerously close, burning down the hillsides, basically into the backyards, and it was a busy morning. It was hard and quick work by these firefighters to put out those spot fires all along the canyon roads that lead to multi-million dollar homes in the hills above Montecito. Just under 100,000 people have been evacuated in the path of this fire. Firefighters are working in extremely dry conditions with no rain in months and vegetation that hasn't burned in more than 50 years. Of the 980 fire engines on the Thomas fire, 600 of them are stationed in the Montecito and Carpinteria areas. The fire now at 400 square miles is still burning west towards Santa Barbara and Santa Inez, where authorities hope it burns into where the Zaca fire already burned in 07. Overnight, it grew only 1,500 acres as firefighters worked around the clock. Uh, the firefighters here that have been here all night long, they said about 1, 1 30 in the morning, this area was hit real hard. I'm happy to report that no homes were destroyed up here at all. You could see where the fire burned right up to the road and to the fire re retardant line, and then the firefighters just reinforced that. Firefighters are using private contractors to spray FOSS check directly out of trucks instead of from the air in order to more accurately protect these homes. And more than two dozen water dropping helicopters dumped more than 200 million gallons of water on the fire yesterday and are back today. There are also now close to 8,000 firefighters fighting this fire that is now close to being the fourth largest fire in California history. As you can see, a lot of work to be done. Still not out of the woods yet. Here in Montecito, Jasmine Veal, KCAL 9 News.